Welcome to Auto Bike Focus, the channel where machines of speed, power, and innovation take center stage. Today, we dive into one of the most ambitious and futuristic aircraft projects in military aviation, the 2026 Mikoyan MiG-41. Known as Russia's next-generation interceptor, the MiG-41 has been surrounded by mystery, speculation, and bold claims. Designed as the successor to the legendary MiG-31 Foxhound, this aircraft represents Russia's attempt to redefine air dominance with hypersonic speed, advanced stealth, and next-level weapons technology. In this script, we will explore the history, design, technology, armament, and potential role of the MiG-41 in shaping the future of aerial warfare. The Legacy of the MiG-31 To understand the MiG-41, it is necessary to revisit its predecessor, the MiG-31. Introduced in the late 1970s, the MiG-31 Foxhound was built for one purpose, intercepting high-speed threats such as American SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft, bombers, and later cruise missiles. Its top speed of Mach 2.83 and long-range radar made it an unmatched interceptor of its era. However, as warfare evolved with stealth aircraft, hypersonic weapons, and unmanned systems emerging, the MiG-31's capabilities began to look outdated. The Russian defense industry concluded that a successor was essential, one that would not just match but exceed modern threats. Thus, the MiG-41 program was conceived. Design philosophy. The MiG-41, also referred to as PAC-DP, Prospective Aviation Complex for Long Range Interception, is envisioned as a sixth generation interceptor. Its design philosophy centers on speed, reach, and versatility. Unlike multi-role fighters like the Su-57, the MiG-41 has a singular mission, intercept and neutralize high-speed threats before they can penetrate Russian airspace. Every element of the aircraft is tailored to this role. From its aerodynamics, optimized for extreme altitudes and velocities, to its specialized avionics for rapid detection and engagement. Exterior and aerodynamics. Though much of its design remains classified, conceptual rendering suggests that the MiG-41 combines stealth characteristics with sharp, futuristic lines. Its elongated fuselage, blended wings, and potential use of advanced composites reduce radar cross-section while maintaining aerodynamic efficiency. The aircraft is rumored to be capable of flying at altitudes above 20 kilometers, enabling it to surveil vast areas and strike threats from above. Unlike stealth aircraft optimized for dogfighting, the MiG-41 is shaped for straight-line hypersonic interception, prioritizing sheer speed and altitude over maneuverability. Propulsion System The most ambitious claim regarding the MiG-41 is its projected top speed of Mach 4 to Mach 5, potentially making it the fastest combat aircraft ever built. Achieving this requires groundbreaking propulsion. Reports suggest that the MiG-41 could employ turbine-based combined cycle engines, which transition from turbojet operation at lower speeds to ramjet or scramjet propulsion at hypersonic velocities. This would allow the aircraft to achieve sustained hypersonic flight without the drawbacks of conventional engines. If true, the MiG-41 would outpace every known aircraft in service, including experimental U.S. projects, stealth and survivability. Stealth is another cornerstone of the MiG-41 program. Unlike the MiG-31, which relied on brute force and speed, the MiG-41 integrates radar-absorbing materials, angular design features, and internal weapons bays to reduce its detectability. While its hypersonic velocity already makes it difficult to track or intercept, stealth ensures survivability against advanced air defense systems. Russian engineers are believed to be experimenting with active camouflage technologies, such as plasma cloaking, though these remain speculative. Avionics and sensors. For an interceptor, detection is as critical as speed. The MiG-41 is expected to feature next-generation AESA radars capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously at extreme ranges. Specialized infrared sensors, electronic warfare suites, and data link systems will allow it to integrate with Russia's broader defense network. Reports suggest that the MiG-41 will be designed to intercept not only aircraft, but also satellites and hypersonic missiles, requiring sensor arrays capable of functioning effectively at ultra-high speeds and altitudes. Weapon Systems 
The MiG-41 is envisioned as a heavily armed interceptor, carrying a range of weapons tailored to its mission profile. Internal weapons bays are expected to house long-range air-to-air missiles, such as the R-37M, which already equips the MiG-31, and new missile systems designed specifically for hypersonic interception. Rumors persist that the MiG-41 could be armed with anti-satellite weapons, giving Russia the ability to threaten orbital assets. There has also been speculation about energy-based weapons, such as directed energy lasers, though these remain unconfirmed. Regardless, its primary focus remains neutralizing high-speed aerial threats at long ranges. Role in Russian Defense Strategy The MiG-41 fits into Russia's strategy of layered defense. While aircraft like the Su-57 are designed for stealth penetration in multi-role operations, the MiG-41 would serve as a dedicated shield, intercepting threats before they reach Russian skies. Its hypersonic speed allows it to cover vast areas, particularly critical in defending Russia's expansive northern borders and Arctic regions. In strategic terms, the MiG-41 could deter adversaries from deploying hypersonic cruise missiles or reconnaissance platforms near Russian territory. Ace development challenges. Like any ambitious military program, the MiG-41 faces significant hurdles. Engineering engines capable of sustained Mach 4 plus speeds is a colossal challenge. Materials must withstand extreme thermal stress, avionics must function at hypersonic speeds, and stealth must remain effective despite the heat generated. Funding is another concern as Russia's defense industry operates under budget constraints and international sanctions. While Russia has announced timelines suggesting the MiG-41 could appear by the mid-2020s, skeptics believe full operational deployment may not occur until the 2030 as if ever. Global Implications If the MiG-41 succeeds, it could reshape the balance of power in aerial warfare. The United States, China, and Europe are all investing in next-generation fighters and hypersonic weapons. But no confirmed operational aircraft promises Mach 4 plus performance. A functioning MiG-41 would force adversaries to rethink strategies for reconnaissance, missile deployment, and air defense. However, if the program falters, it risks becoming another overhyped project, joining the ranks of ambitious designs that never fully materialize. Comparisons with global counterparts. The MiG-41 invites comparison with other advanced projects, such as the U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD program, or China's rumored JXX hypersonic interceptors. However, while NGAD focuses on multi-role versatility and stealth dominance, the MiG-41 specialization as a hypersonic interceptor makes it unique. It is less about air superiority dogfights and more about strategic denial of access to adversary weapons platforms. In this sense, it represents a different philosophy of future air combat. Potential for unmanned operations. There are reports that the MiG-41 may feature optionally manned capabilities, meaning it could operate as a piloted aircraft or as a drone. This would extend mission flexibility, allowing it to perform high-risk operations without endangering pilots. In an era where artificial intelligence and unmanned systems are increasingly central to military strategy, this capability could make the MiG-41 not only a record-breaking interceptor, but also a pioneer in next-generation autonomy. Nuri challenges of hypersonic interception. One of the MiG-41's most touted capabilities is intercepting hypersonic missiles. However, this task is notoriously difficult. At speeds exceeding Mach 5, hypersonic weapons maneuver unpredictably, making them difficult to track and engage. Developing missile systems fast and agile enough to counter such threats remains an ongoing challenge. If the MiG-41 can genuinely neutralize hypersonic missiles, it would represent a breakthrough in air defense.